As you guys may or may not know, I recently put out a video about the fact that I graduated university. My degree was in philosophy, English literature and creative writing. Now during creative writing, especially during second year, I had to write a lot of poetry. And it's one of those poems that I've decided I'll be using for bucket list goal number 317. <laughs> Bucketless goal number 317 is to submit a poem into a poem contest. Now, I have always loved writing. Ever since I was little, I'd write stories, poems, inspirational speeches, basically anything that involves some form of developing sentences that are smooth and conjure up feeling, emotions, images. I'm into it. I remember writing a short story for my mum when I was younger. I had created a story about a man who had gone off on an adventure and had managed to lose his way. But he found himself in a mysterious inn with creepy men and like... To be honest, I don't know how the rest of the story goes, but I remember my mum really enjoying it. And to be honest, when I read it back, it was pretty good for a 12 year old. I had it printed out in like a proper book format and stapled it. She loved it. And then as I got older, I started to get a lot into, a lot more into poetry. I used to write poems about my feelings, my current situations, my crushes, uh, arguments that I had, etc, etc. And when I went to university and I took creative writing for the purpose of becoming a writer, I stumbled upon a course called, I do believe it was called, the art of the poem, I think, and I became heavily curious. So I took the course and it was by far one of the best courses I have ever taken. The reason why I'm sharing this information with you, because when I was younger, through the entirety of my childhood, my teenage years, I dreamt of becoming an interior designer. And yet, here I am several years later with a degree in philosophy, English literature and creative writing about to enter one of my very own pieces into a contest with the chance to have it published. <laughs> in other words, things change. I mean, I've always loved writing but I never imagined myself becoming a writer or ever having any of my work published in any way, shape or form. But now, the idea of potentially having my poem published is more exciting to me than the £5,000 prize. And that's saying something. The contest that I'm entering is run by the Poetry Society in London. They have their own cafe and everything. It's that exciting. It's the 2018 National Poetry Competition. The top seven poems win prizes between £5,000 to £200. But the top three poets get to have their poems featured within the Poetry Review, which was founded in 1912. It's a well-known magazine amongst literates, novelists, and poets across the entirety of the UK, and I want to be in it. Electrosensitivity by Natasha Martins The same way an antenna consistently oscillates currents of electrons creating magnetic fields, the little heart beats just as consistently, putting up barriers against everything it tries not to feel. The same way electricity feels infinite, but too much power can trigger wires till they burst, Socialising drops your energy level so you disconnect and recharge on your own. The same way radio waves convert to sound through looping alternative positive and negative currents, you find the ease of feeling the vibrations of those around you, so you cover yourself in foil to avoid emotional interruptions. The same way laptops are easy to hack through scanners and search for fragile unprotected systems to exploit, you fear being used due to your naivety so you install firewalls against anyone who tries to get close.
Thank you.